If God foreknows the future, how do we have free will? God's foreknowledge does not trump human free will. Now the determinists and the five-point Calvinists, they will believe that God has made the world in such a way where everything is determined, where we do not have a say at all with what we do. Everything that we do is technically um, done by God. It's already been predetermined. We do not have the ability to do otherwise. And this is uh, fallacious thinking and a bad view. Uh, because God does indeed have foreknowledge and man also has free will. We see that both in scripture. Obviously, there's things that we can dive into deeper as far as uh, predestination and the elect and free will and how that all works. But the point of this video is how can man have free will um, if God foreknows the future? And so a very easy way to understand this is that our actions are logically prior to to God's foreknowledge but God's foreknowledge is chronologically prior to our free will actions so when God created the world and before he placed us within time and space he knew exactly how we would be at any given point in any given time because we didn't have a say of who our parents are we didn't have a say what year we would be born in we could have easily been born in the 1800s or in the 900s or 1200 BC whatever it may be but instead we were born at a specific time and place and uh, just because God has orchestrated that he also knows every single free will decision that we would do in any and all circumstances and events and so based upon him for knowing all these uh, subject subjunctive conditionals which are if then statements so if Lance was born in the 1800s uh, then he would have become a farmer if Lance was born in 1200 BC he would have been a seeker of truth God knows all these different variables and his foreknowledge does not trump human free will because before he created it's not like he's pulling the strings of making us you know move our arms and think um, certain thoughts and speak certain words I mean when we enter into the faith and we're led by the Spirit obviously that happens but nothing is forced on us we have libertarian free will to choose good and evil right from wrong and God we know is not at all morally culpable for evil or sin that's just logically incoherent with his nature because his nature is good it's perfect and it is holy and obviously the scripture says uh, whoever has temptation do not let them say do not have them say that they're being tempted by God for God does not tempt man so before God creates he foreknew all events of what would happen and but so he had the ultimate authority to place us in a certain point in time and obviously he dictates certain circumstances and events that he allows for us to operate in but nonetheless we do have libertarian free will and we have the freedom to do otherwise um, and God foreknows this simply because God is outside time he is eternal Everything that is and will be has already been for him who is eternal, transcendent, and infinite. And that is mind-boggling reality, but is nonetheless the truth. So, uh, if God foreknows the future, how do we have free will? Because God has placed us logically in such positions and circumstances and events and within time and space by which uh, ultimately free will creatures will fulfill his ultimate divine will none of us will fulfill his perfect will for our lives because we are sinners and we're going to fail him and fall and we're going to miss out on opportunities but nonetheless even out of evil acts god can turn that into good um, because he alone has foreseen all things and he alone is the one who permits and allows certain things and so even out of man's free willed evil acts um, God can turn that for good to work out for his ultimate divine purpose so uh, a point to remember in summary is that our actions are logically prior to God's foreknowledge but God's foreknowledge is chronologically prior to our free will actions